Well, it's been a busy few days for Raspberry Pi. We've had the Compute Module 5 come out. We've had the Compute Module 5 development kit video here on this channel. We've had the Raspberry Pi 500, another video here on this channel. And now we've got the Raspberry Pi monitor. 15.6 inch full HD monitor in the full glorious color scheme of the Raspberry Pi. Well, if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so let's go over some of the features. As I said, it's a 15.6 inch full HD uh, IPS display. It has an adjustable stand, uh, which allows you to put it up a range of different angles. It's basically just swivels down and you just adjust it. It's got built-in audio with two front-facing speakers. There's also an audio out via a 3.5 millimeter jack if you wanted to connect up some other kind of audio system to it. Full-size HDMI. There are VESA screws for mounting it on the wall if you want to. Volume and brightness control buttons and it is powered by a USB-C cable and we'll talk more about that in a moment. So let's just talk about that screen, 15.6 uh, inches, that's a 16.9 ratio. It's an IPS LCD with anti-glare coating that gives you full HD, so that's 1920 by 1080, 16.2 million colors, and a typical brightness of 250 nits. So you power it with a USB-C cable. It needs 1.5 amps at five volts. And here's the really interesting thing about this. It can be powered here directly from a Raspberry Pi USB port, which means if you're connecting this up to a Raspberry Pi and you're connecting in the HDMI, you don't have to search for a separate power supply. You can connect it into the USB port of your Raspberry Pi. But because that can't give you 1.5 amps, it limits the brightness to 60% and the volume to a max of 50%. Now it does that by checking the cable. So it's important that you use a good uh, USB-C cable. If the source and the cable are 900 milliamp capable, then the monitor will use the power limiting mode. If the source and the cable can give you 1.5 or 3 amps, then it will give you full uh, brightness and full volume. It does that by measuring the resistance on a couple of pins. So you've got to make sure you've got the right cable, the one that doesn't have the resistors missing because it's cheap from a cheap source. You need to make sure it's a good cable. One thing to note though, is it doesn't use USB power delivery. So this is just your normal voltages and amps that you get through USB type C. And of course you can use a Raspberry Pi power supply that you would use on let's say a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 5. Stick that in there and you'll get the full brightness and the full volume. A couple of other quick things to mention. It is very light, easy to carry. You can actually swing up that uh, adjustable foot and make it like a, a carry case. I don't think it's designed to do that, but that's quite an interesting way to carry it around. I've tested it on a variety of different bits of hardware, Raspberry Pi stuff, of course, and PCs, mini PCs, laptops, and so on. Never had any problems whatsoever. Put simply, it's a well-designed full HD monitor. Okay, so you can pick up one of these monitors for $100. Okay, so there you have it, the Raspberry Pi monitor, 15.60, full HD, uh, love to hear your thoughts. I think the fact you can power it from a Raspberry Pi is an absolutely brilliant idea. You don't need an extra socket, mains outlet, you don't need extra power supply, just put it into your Raspberry Pi. I'd love to hear your thoughts, do let me know in the comments below. My name's Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kinds of videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.